What's up guys, it's Friday and that means it's Loot Chest. My name's Seth. I'm Josh. And uh, today, me and Josh went and gave, we gave blood. So we are blood brothers, and in honor of that, we're going to discuss our favorite duos in gaming, um, and maybe even ones we'd like to see. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's fucking, let's get that going. Let's hammer it out. For my first uh, normal duo, um, it's probably going to have to be... Um, I don't think they had names, but Player One and Player Two in Smash TV. Oh God, that's okay. my favorite duo. Why? Because that's they're in a fucking a game show. They're complete badass. Uh -huh. They went into a game show to kill fucking hundreds of fucking people and robots. I think there's robots. I haven't played that game in a long time. But there's a bunch of shit to fight. You got VCRs and TVs and fucking. If you made it through Smash fucking, if you made it through that that game show. Rich. Rich. With <laughs> fucking VCRs and shit? Dude, it was like that fucking... That's what fucking Fast and Furious 1 was Trailer about. and Fast and Furious, exactly. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's what they would have had. It was a couple of those. Because I remember getting fucking prizes out the ass in that fucking game. <laughs> so, uh, uh... I just think how... How well they... I mean, it was a co-op game, pretty much. So, I mean, they, it was pretty much a duo. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it kind of reminds me of, like, the, the Contra guys, too. Like, Billy and where the fuck the other one's name is. Billy and fucking the other guy is Double Dragon. No, I'm pretty sure one of the guys from Contra, the original one's name is Billy, like, Riser or something. Wow. Oh, yeah, maybe. Doesn't matter. That's not my pick. Um, but, yeah, it kind of reminds me of, like, the you know, red guy and blue guy mm -hmm. in all those old games. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, player one, player two. Yeah. So I don't think Smash TV, they had names, so. Um, you got fucking Smash and TV. That's, like, how badass they were, because they signed up for that. It's like that Thunderdome shit. It's like you're creating something for them almost. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's open enough for you to figure that out. Yeah, that's that's my pick. I mean, there's not really a whole lot lot to it. They just killed hundreds of fucking people for some VCRs, man. So if they fucking <laughs> fucking if, brutal. if you kill thing kill people for reward, fucking you're badass. You're badass. <laughs> you're badass. Um, I'm kind of having. Uh, a battle in my own head of, of who I want to pick because easily I would pick Salt Snake and like Otacon mm -hmm. together um, or even Salt Snake and fucking Raiden in 4 uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 mm -hmm. in case no one knows who the fuck I'm talking about um, you yeah you're not talk. you're not on the right channel if you, if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about um, that's too easy because Metal Gear Solid is my favorite series um, it's too easy to go that route so um, when I think of like favorite duos it's like how well do they play off each other how much do they grow as characters from each other and I keep coming back to um, Lee and Clementine from uh, Walking Dead mm, mm -hmm. did you ever beat that? I never beat it but uh, I, 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 I I'm not afraid of spoilers cause and I then well and I'm, we're not going to go into spoiler territory um, but then beyond that I think of Joel and Ellie mm -hmm. from Last of Us Awesome and I think they're probably one of my favorite duos of, of all of gaming. Easy. Mm -hmm. um, you can go and you play a bunch of games with, with multiple players and shit, or multiple players. Uh, you know, two people, uh, co op, whatever, you know, like your game, whatever. Bunch of stuff. Really fun. And there's more, I guess, more badass people as mm -hmm. duos. But, like, the, the amount of um, character development and, and just growth and storyline you get out of those two characters. And how dynamic they are as people and, and human uh, is something that, like, a lot of people attempt to do, but I think no one has really touched it as well as uh, Neil Druckmann and Naughty Dog. Yeah, one of my favorite um, parts of The Last of Us, where you actually see Joel starting to like Ellie and want to, like, keep her around, is um, in the beginning of the game, when you take, take cover, you're, like, up against the wall. Um, later in the game, when you take cover, you'll actually have your hand up, and Ellie will come and fucking get, mm -hmm. like, right... Like, like you're trying to protect her. Yeah. And she didn't, she, she gets like next to you like fucking, fucking earlier in the game or something like that. That was my biggest, like, that was kind of neat. Like yeah. it shows he actually starts to like her. Um, and, and you're right. Like with mine, it was more like you kind of create your own story with it. Yeah. Um, but you're actually really having creating a whole lot with these uh, two characters development. Yeah. I mean, like it's all, it's, it's laid out for you. And I actually think that Joel and Ellie is a better choice than, let's say, like Nathan Drake and Sully. And I thought about that too because I really like the way they pair, but like they're not as meaningful to me. They, yeah, but they, that 
I swear to God, their relationship's the exact same in all four games. Fucking Solis, I'm too old for this shit, and fucking Nate and Nathan Drake's like, just one yeah, more place to go. I, I feel like the third game, though, kind of expanded that. It's still the same as what mm-hmm. you're saying, but it does expand it uh, to a point where you can kind of understand where the relationship comes from and had, like, more dire consequences towards the end when people were at threat because you understood their connection as, as people. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, cause he was a pickpocket or something like that yeah. when he was a kid. And we Rob, saved him as a child, yeah, yeah or a uh, kid. Rob Soli, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. so it was really neat to see the the backstory there. Mm. Um, but I, I think that Joel and Ellie are a way better duo. Joel and Ellie is great because, like, they don't just start out in the game. It's not just like, these guys are fucking on a team. Mm-hmm. Like, he meets her. He, yeah. he wants nothing to fucking do with her. And, uh... And has to help her out of necessity, out of out of needing something from the situation, mm-hmm. and then eventually doing a favor for a friend. Um, and then, he, then eventually just doing it for himself and her. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And and at very much and most at the end, doing it all for himself. Yeah, um, yeah. It becomes almost like a selfish, like like gesture towards the end because he knows that Ellie is selfless and would have easily. What, fucking... what spoiler alert? Uh, would yeah, sacrifice would, would sacrifice herself, exactly. And mm-hmm. he won't let her, because he won't lose her. Mm-hmm. It's selfish of him, because Joel is, is such a deep character, and not even just for video games, for movies. Mm-hmm. He There's so much to him. Um, and Ellie, too, but like Joel is not a good person. He's not a good guy mm-hmm. at all in any way. He's a fucking horrible person that was made that way through the, the world around him, mm-hmm. the, the, the atmosphere, the environment. Survival. Environment made him into mm-hmm. something that has to survive, and you know the death of his daughter and shit. Um, but you see elements of his humanity come out uh, through Ellie, and uh, you're rooting for him because you want him to save Ellie, but at the same time, the world would be a better place if Ellie died. Mm-hmm. Maybe. But he won't Maybe. take that risk, which yeah. I love. And th- Even being able to discuss this is is easily proof for me that it's definitely one of my favorite duos, if not my favorite duo. Mm-hmm. Just because even with Motor Solid, I love, I love the way Salt Snake and Otacon... Um, or like brothers, that mm-hmm. it's a really deep connection. But you followed but like but that duo as... through games too. Well, and that's that's why that one's really important to me is because that is like a you fucking see a bloom and that is a long solid. saga of just yeah. storyline more than Last of Us can offer at this mm-hmm. point. But Last of Us is such a human story. I can't relate to Solid Snake. Mm-hmm. I can just go, holy shit! This is the unsung hero that has done. So much for everyone, and no one will ever know who the fuck this guy is. Yeah, no Otacon yeah. knows who he is and what he's done. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, everyone else is fucking dead. Salt Snake killed them all, or fucking, yeah. you know, they die off. No, but that's, that's it. Idea. And it's a great story, but I can't identify with that. But like Last of Us, everyone can identify with, with you know, caring for people and shit, or, mm-hmm. you know, hating being someone cold. and then eventually being like, uh, you know. And just like the okay. Clementine story, um, and Lee, like, there, theirs is really good too, and, you know, the fucking the ending is just so fucking horrible um <laughs> but uh but yeah their story is all about growth and development too you get this really good connection they just fucking chop your dick off at the end like fucking mm-hmm. they get to eat it <laughs> uh but yeah those those are my favorite I'm, i i love that kind of stuff so um let's go into a lighter area though and let's discuss uh Dream. Our, our just not even dream. Like I, I didn't think about this too long, so mm-hmm. it's just gonna be a fun, fun idea for for a duo. And uh, yeah, let's let's fucking discuss that. I want to see, in some way or another, Salt Snake. And I know I'm talking about Metal Solid again. Salt Snake and Adam Jensen work together in some way because I feel like they could fit together. That'd be crazy. <laughs> because Adam Jensen is like the fucking Kmart brand Salt Snake anyway. Mm-hmm. Like he's not as cool Salt Snake. But he's got some neat shit, and he's got augments and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Metal Gear Solid's fucking led to that way already. Like, mm-hmm. it's already getting crazy like that. So, I feel like it wouldn't even be that much of a stretch. You yeah. just put, you just take fucking Salt Snake and send him to, uh, where the fuck is Adam Jensen at? It's like, not Boston. New it's Detroit. Like, yeah, it's Detroit or something mm-hmm. like that. And fucking, that shit could already, already be happening there. Like, we don't know. Mm-hmm. We don't know much about society in Mogar Salt at this yeah. point. We just know about the fucking PMCs and war and shit. But I feel like they're both stealth-oriented. Both able to just fucking unload and kill a bunch of dudes at once. Both got a lot of cool tricks up their sleeve. Fucking Adam Jensen's got blades and shit. And mm-hmm. go invisible, which is not crazy for Metal Gear Solid at all. Mm-hmm. That's fucking normal. Uh, Solid Snake's just a fucking badass who can't die. That's mm-hmm. his power. 
Um, you can jump off rockets and shit. Um, it'd be cool. Maybe even, like, start them off as, like, enemies, like, against each other in some mm-hmm. way. And then uh, have them have to join forces or something like that. I, I don't know. I think it could work. I think it'd be cool. And then maybe it could add some life to Adam Jensen, because I don't think he's a realized character. And that's a completely different discussion. But, like, I would like, war. See, I would like to see a chance. Adam Jensen fucking become a character that actually has something to him. Because mm-hmm. I think he's, there's a lot to him. Obviously, I want to see him in a Metal Gear Solid almost. But mm-hmm. at the same time, there's, he's just not an established character. There's nothing about him. I'm like, man, he's a really interesting guy. I'm just like, this guy's a badass. Look at him. Okay, now, do you want Adam Jensen in a Metal Gear Solid or a Solid Snake in a Deus Ex? I almost think, like, make a fucking whole other game that mixes the two because I don't think I, I mean Adam Jensen more so in a Metal Gear Solid because he could be like a cameo but it's mm-hmm. a duo so they have to fucking work together in some mm-hmm. way um, whether it be co-op or not but um, co-op gameplay or just you play as both of them or something um, but Solid Snake in Deus Ex I almost feel like it's like bringing down someone so great into this lesser <laughs> property Deus Ex is great I love it but like it's not the fucking same. Like, no. it's... it's Especially if you're talking about the older Deus Ex games, you fuck yeah, those games are legendary. But mm-hmm. the new one is fun. I like it a lot. But it's not the same caliber as Metal Gear Solid mm-hmm. at all. Um, so, yeah, you bring the lesser dude into Metal Gear Solid, you don't bring fucking... Mm-hmm. one of the best fucking video game characters of all time into a game that could be okay. You went into Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, but Super Smash Bros. is fucking Nintendo, and everything Nintendo touches is fucking legendary, whether I like it or not. Um, you don't see Adam Jensen in that game? They ain't bringing that fucking cheap shit in there. I, got, I don't think Adam Jensen was... Yeah, he was out. He fucking wrecked, dude. Have you seen the he new trailer? He wrecked, yeah. He has some weird fuck. He does Kamehameha shit now. Mm-hmm. Um, shoot his blades and shit. Think, dude, think about fucking Adam... J- and I know Vamp's dead, but think about Adam Jensen fighting fucking Vamp. That'd be a dope or fight. Or, like, them versus, like, Raiden. Or, like yeah, Raiden, Raiden versus... Or that'd be like fucking that. crazy, yeah. because Adam Jensen has fucking mechanical parts. He fits him perfectly. Mm-hmm. You can rip his arms off, and he can still fight. Yeah. And he's got that fucking... He can fly and shoot fucking Super Saiyan shit out of his fucking... Out of his chest. <laughs> fucking shoot and launch fucking nukes out of his ass and stuff. Like, fucking, it just... It, it, it works. And I, and I already feel Deus Ex, the new ones, are already trying to be, like, a fucking second-rate, like, Metal Gear Solid. Mm-hmm. They have that, like, sense of um, taking themselves serious and shit. And they, and they do they do a good job, like yeah. They're about conspiracy and all that shit. Mm-hmm. But it's just not... It just doesn't have... The, it doesn't have Kojima making it. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're cool. They're cool. And I'd like to see that almost mixed together. I think it'd be really neat. I would love it because I, I'm a huge fucking, like, Cyber. cyberpunk guy. Mm-hmm. I fucking love futuristic shit. Um... I'd really like to see a really off topic. Mm-hmm. I want to see Adam Jensen sit there and then lift his foot up and his boot goes, rockets off, slaps somebody and comes back. Why is he fucking Inspector Gadget? Duke fucking nuke him, baby, just with a rocket boot. <laughs> Make it happen. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so that's mine. Um, I think it'd be cool. And you won't have to change the genre up too much. Mm-hmm. It'd be you know a little different, but uh, it'd be cool. It'd be a cool mix up, I think. Um, mine's pretty standard fare. Um, the Dante from the new Devil May Cry and oh, Bayonetta. Wow. They're almost the exact same games. I don't, I I don't we think both it would be, safe. I don't think it'd be a, uh, too big of a jump for them to, um, to either work together and hate each other because Bayonetta's nothing like fucking him. Yeah. And, uh, you know... She's a piece of ass to him, so I mean, he could fucking act like that, or however the hell he's gonna fucking act. I'm sure, people would love that. Yeah, but um, I really, I really like to see them kind of like work together in a normal, uh, ba- it, with Bayonetta's mechanics. Here's the thing, and and as soon as you said this, I already started getting ideas. But it'd be really cool because those games aren't multiplayer. Mm-hmm. It'd be cool to almost like be able to play as both with yeah. two people playing that. That'd be fucking cool. Um, and even, like, share combos. Maybe they have moves that can fucking play off of each mm-hmm. other. Um, well, the one guy's like, fuck you, fucking fat tits, blah, 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 <laughs> talking <laughs> shit. And she's just fucking, I'm so sexy, fucking mm-hmm. in a stupid fucking suit. Or maybe um, even, like, if it was single player, you can switch between the two. Yeah, like, either or. I think that'd be really mm-hmm. neat. Um, and that crossover is fucking not even that crazy. Like, just like my thing. I, mm-hmm. I think that's completely safe because they're similar type games. I think it'd work. Um, yeah, no, that's... That, That'd be a cool game. Um, 
The only thing I, I wouldn't be able to stand, though, is fucking both those games come from not taking themselves serious, which is great. Mm-hmm. It's, it, not everyone needs to take itself serious. But at the same time, they're like both full of so many quips. So like, yeah. I don't know if I could listen to two fucking assholes just, just constantly like, ooh, I watch close, babe. And fucking saying a bunch of stupid shit. Yeah. Like, but other than that, like, I, I think it'd be really fun. Yeah, um, I, I I just picked it because they're fuck, they're almost the exact same fucking thing. Sure, um, and they definitely would work. And of course, she's 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 a witch, but I mean, she deals with heaven and hell. Of course, Don, Don, Dante is a nephilim, so he's half angel, half demon. Is he? Yeah, I didn't know that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, they, I mean, that could that could come in to fucking play like. Or maybe they could work together for sure. Or maybe like she's trying to, she's trying. She she like has this thing against the heavens, so maybe she's trying to kill him because he has a piece of angel in him or something like that. And then they end up coming to like a stalemate and then working together. Got a piece because, of angel in me, baby. Because Dante doesn't give a fuck about about angels or demons. Mm. He just doesn't care. Um, the only, the only reason the, the only reason he actually gave a fuck is because of Virgil, his fucking brother. Mm. And it was really neat. In the end of it, the last boss wasn't Mundus, which was like the main demon. It was Virgil. Like you actually fought your fucking brother hmm. um, because he wanted to take all of Mundus's shit. You're talking and, about the remake, yeah. Okay. And he he wanted to take over all of Mundus's tools that was like controlling people and control people himself. And Dante was like, "Whoa, we didn't sign up to that. We signed up to free people." Mm-hmm. And so you fight him, which would be, I think, neat. Maybe uh, at, at the very end, because it'd be really crazy. It'd be like a weird, like it feels co-op, like a like a double dragon kind of like. Now you have to fight fucking over the girl, you know, kind you know, but mm-hmm. them just 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 battling it out over something. Uh, and if it's co-op, it becomes like a fighting game now, where you're all yeah. just trying to do com- fucking combos against each other and all that shit. So. Uh, yeah, I think it'd be. I, I think it, that'd be like a cool duo, and have yeah, it sure. ridiculous, like fuck, because like, Devil May Cry played it pretty safe. It did, yeah. The the new one, but like in Bayonetta, the first one, there's a fucking in the very end, there's a chunk of clock tower falling through the heavens, and you're fighting on it, and then you drive a fucking motorcycle up, could... up into fucking the space on a rocket, and then you fight the fucking last boss in space and you have to fucking punch her into the sun wow yeah I never, That's I never saw that fucking crazy did you ever play the second one no apparently it's fucking it's crazy it's really good yeah like so I, I I would like like to play it I just I need to dust off the old Wii U to do that but oh yeah apparently I had one um so yeah uh that's that's my pick I think it'd be neat to see him yeah no I uh I, I think we both played it pretty safe but I mean like both sound really cool to me mm-hmm. um this is actually something I'd like to redo again too. Come back. Maybe like to a topic this, continued. Yeah, for sure, I got a bunch of fucking continued. topics I want to do. But uh, but yeah, I think uh, we're gonna cut this episode short. We have a couple things we got to do today, so um, that's gonna be it for Loot Chest on Friday on uh, Tasty Loot Gaming. That's where you're at right now. Uh, my name's Seth, and I'm the Dream Duo. <laughs> he's the he's the fucking Dream Team. We're the fucking Dream Team. Um. Uh, yeah, no, uh, catch us Tuesday again for, uh, Tasty Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you, see you next week. Mm Mm-hmm.